In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to turn off WhatsApp web notifications. Have you ever found yourself distracted by the continuous pings and pop-ups from WhatsApp web while you're trying to focus on work or during those rare moments of downtime? Well, you're certainly not alone. Notifications, while crucial for staying in the loop, can at times become a source of distraction. Fortunately, WhatsApp web offers a straightforward solution to manage these alerts, allowing you to control when and how you receive these notifications. Today, let's walk through the process together. Let's start by navigating to WhatsApp web. This is easily done by opening your preferred web browser and typing in web.whatsapp.com. Upon doing this, you'll be prompted to scan a QR code with your phone. This links your WhatsApp account to your web browser, allowing you to send and receive messages from your computer. Once you're logged in, your initial view will be of your most recent chats. However, what we are interested in adjusting are the notification settings. So our next step involves locating the notifications option. You'll find this by looking at the upper left corner of the screen. Just adjacent to your profile picture and the status icon there is a three dot menu. Clicking on this will reveal a drop down list with various options. Scroll until you see notifications and give it a click. This action leads you directly to the heart of your notification settings. Within the notification settings, there's a specific section we need to focus on, uh, message notifications. These are the alerts you receive whenever a new message comes in on WhatsApp web. Clicking on message notifications will unveil the control granularity WhatsApp provides over these alerts. You'll see you can adjust sounds, desktop alerts, and even preview message content in the notifications. To achieve our goal of turning off WhatsApp web notifications, we simply disable the message notifications. This can be done by toggling off the option which is usually indicated by a switch or checkbox depending on your browser or device. By doing so you prevent new message alerts from popping up on your desktop. This doesn't mean you won't receive messages, it merely means you'll need to check WhatsApp web proactively to see new messages rather than being alerted by a notification. Disabling message notifications can bring an immediate sense of calm and reduce the digital noise competing for your attention. Keep in mind though if you're awaiting an important message or working in a role where timely communication is critical, you might want to fine tune which notifications to disable or even schedule specific periods to, to mute them. Also, it's good to remember that any changes made to your notification settings on WhatsApp web do not affect the notification settings on your mobile device. This means that if you wish to have a completely quiet workspace without any interruptions from your phone, you'll need to adjust the notification settings on your mobile device separately. After making these changes, it's as simple as closing the settings and returning to your chats. The beauty of this process is that it's not permanent. Should you find yourself missing the instant notifications or if your circumstances change, re-enabling them is just as easy as uh, disabling them. Simply follow the same steps and toggle the message notifications back on. In today's fast paced world, managing digital interruptions is key to maintaining focus and productivity. By customizing your WhatsApp web notifications, you're taking a step towards creating a digital environment that suits your needs and preferences. Whether you choose to limit interruptions during work hours or enjoy some uninterrupted personal time, the control is literally at your fingertips. And there you have it. A simple step-by-step -step guide to turning off WhatsApp web notifications. We hope you found this tutorial helpful. Remember, it's all about finding the right balance that works for you. Thank you for joining us and we look forward to bringing you more tips and tricks to make your digital life a little bit easier.